Hi, welcome to Small Guru on AI CAD. This is Rajiv Lochan. This is in uh, continuation to my earlier video tutorial. Develop Autodesk Inventor add in using C Sharp. So, this tutorial will be part 2 of it. And I highly recommend you to go through this uh, earlier tutorial on smallguru.com. Okay, today in this uh, session, we are going to discuss how to develop buttons. Clicking on uh, it would uh, trigger some action in uh, Inventor as an add-in. So to do that, we'll proceed with a uh, new project. The same way we did uh, last time, we actually go to uh, Inventor uh, add-in template. I'm in C Sharp. I click on Inventor add-in template, and then I give uh, my project name and something like that and uh, since I've already created it it's here EACAD Inventor Add-in 4 I'll just cancel this by default assembly info.cs and uh, standard add-in server these two files would be added we'll just uh, go one by one we'll go with uh, standard add-in server since uh, we don't deal much with uh, assembly info it's pretty much default so standard add in server.cs that is a file here first and foremost uh, yeah we need to add references out here so I've already added these what you can do is uh, you can go to this project and then click on references add reference and then uh, inventory is already added by uh, the template the rest of the uh, references you need to add all these uh, are there in the uh, .NET tab. I'll just cancel this and I'll just tell you the name so that you can add them. Microsoft.VisualBasic.Compatibility uh, and then STDOLE. This is used for uh, making icons. Then we need to add uh, System.Drawing and uh, System.Windows.Forms. Okay, once you have added that, we will. Uh, use these namespace in uh, standard add-in service we need to add uh, system.drawing then we need to add system.windows.forms and I guess this would be added by default but still double check on this microsoft.win32 uh, so this is our uh, namespace and this is our uh, CLS ID that is a uh, client ID and this is ID by which inventor identifies this as its add-on and by default uh, standard add-in server is the class name which implements uh, inventor.application add-in server okay we have uh, these data members we need to add this uh, inventor application object we are uh, declaring this then we are declaring a button which is of uh, assembly tree button type we'll discuss on this further then we are also declaring a user interface event user interface event and then we are also declaring event handler delegates so basically these are required uh, when you want to make certain changes in the command bars of inventor UI and also on the environment of the UI this is pretty much the same uh, I have copied from uh, Sam simple add-in that is shipped out with uh, SDK samples and then we go into activate method so this is uh, added by default here we are uh, going for try and catch uh, deep, uh, error handling mechanism so basically whatever is uh, it tries if there is any error it will give it to catch and uh, catch will uh, throw that exception okay so we'll uh, this is pretty much the same in try this is uh, default and we then go for uh, button button is a class that is also copied from uh, sa simple add-in and uh, this is also like uh, it has a property in it and this is passed to button class and it in, uh, inventor application is basically a uh, We'll go to button okay this is the class 
so inventor add in is okay it should be here data members sorry properties so inventor uh, application is a property which basically sets and gets the value of uh, whatever value it's been passed okay we'll get back to this then we have uh, initialize uh, event delegates so basically like uh, whatever we had declared earlier we are uh, initializing the ui event delegates and then we have this uh, event handler delegate so basically this is pretty much the same from a uh, simple add-in so what it does is uh, it adds commands to the existing uh, command bars and it also like uh, adds environment changes to the existing uh, environment so you can see here okay and uh, how it does is uh, in the first time it calls this uh, method that is declared uh, well down and these are these two methods are declared in this particular class it goes here okay this is uh, declared here and then it checks first if there is any command bar with this internal name so if it is there then it will ask it to add a button okay and again like if there is any environment with this internal name so if it is there then add this command bar to this particular en environment so we'll uh, later come to know that this had been done in activate method only for the first time so for the subsequent time it comes here and it sees okay okay these are the things that i need to do and uh, it does it going back to our activate method okay here we were uh, we had completed till here so this plus is equal to is something like uh, i plus is equal to j is like i equals i plus j so this is a terminology used in c sharp and then we need to load uh, image icons okay so basically like uh, i have this assembly tree icon i uh, ico file that i added like i click on this and then i go to add existing item so i can add dot ico file once i add that file i can go to the property and uh, i need to change this to embedded resource uh, it would be content by default so i change to embedded resource okay in that way it can uh, embed it into the project and then uh, i get this guid that is a string earlier when the uh, template is create template created the class then we have this uh, create button uh, what it does is it creates a new instance of this assembly tree button by passing these uh, arguments so first argument is uh, the display name second is the internal name of the button and third is the button type fourth is the add in uh, id fifth is uh, the description sixth is the tool tip seventh is the icon which is of small size eighth is again icon which is of large size the ninth is uh, another type which will show you like what type of button it is okay so basically like we'll go to this uh, class later and then uh, we then create the command category command category again it has uh, say the command category name and then uh, it has an identifier that is unique and then the uh, add in string that is uh, add in id okay then we add uh, the above button to this command category that is done here and uh, dot button definition is again a method which will 